second from the top. Barham loves to go very fast. He commits early. He's so strong. Holmes hit that first barrier hard. Barham closing up on him already. Left a picture. Benjamin looking very strong in the headband. Nice and smooth. He's long and lean. Little stutter at that barrier from Benjamin was there. Halfway down the back straight. As Valholm leads by a couple of strides there. Left of picture. Benjamin beginning to close on him now. Good running between them from Curran McMaster. Although he's losing ground now. But Benjamin has the advantage of having Valholm in his sights. The Norwegian is tremendously strong. Benjamin still looking smooth. You feel he's got more to come. He eases up alongside Valholm. Will this be the first loss of the summer? for the Norwegian who works hard off the final barrier stays clear wins by half a metre Well, they get away safely this time. Benjamin, not the best of starts, but Martin's got off very quickly. Just rises first to that first hurdle. Down the back straight, into the breeze. Now a little bit more even. Benjamin just moving up on McMaster. And the two of them making ground on Kenzira, who's in lane seven as well. And going well, TJ Holmes and Rossa out in eight and nine. But it's Benjamin now starting to take control. The master responds as the American moves through inside him. But look at Benjamin, only cleared in 2017 to run for USA and storming away now. Clear and gone, but master, nothing he can do. In fact, just stumbles a little up that flight here into the home straight with a clear lead. Now it's all about right, Benjamin, and how quick he can go. Flies over the last barrier. They're watching the clock. Here he goes, Benjamin, 47-1-6. Well, away they go. Let's keep an eye on those bright yellow socks. Varholm, we know, likes to go out strongly, and he's done, again, done so again today. But he was talking in the press conference about whether or not he should change his style and keep something in reserve for later on in the race. We know how strongly Samba finishes, but at the moment, it's Varholm being chased down by McMaster. McMaster's having a first great 200 here, but Varholm, but look at Samba now getting into his stride. Samba is making the ground here with 125 to go. Samba already looking round into the home straight. Remember, he's beaten Varholm. Varholm hit that barrier there badly, and Samba surely is going to take this away. Tracked by McMaster. Samba is going to come away. It's going to be five out of five. 46.98. about Samba not being here in Zurich and he said you know what I haven't lost any sleep about it but I have been thinking about him more than I have about my own girlfriend this season that's how much their rivalry has mattered here and Varholm has gone out well but also as TJ Holmes TJ Holmes is going stride for stride look for McMaster in the middle of the picture there in the orange vest as well but Varholm and TJ Holmes leading here McMaster likes to come good strong at the end Varholm has gone out uncompromisingly hard again. It's the only way he knows, but McMaster, look for him. He came back strongly last year, a year ago. Is he going to do the same here in 2018? Here comes McMaster from lane three. It's a fight for the line for the two of them. McMaster, oh my word, on the line.